And now, in a bid to have a working refinery, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dimitri Silva, says Port Harcourt facility will start functioning at optimal level when repaired. The minister's assurance is coming on the heels of criticism against the federal government's plan to spend $1.5 billion to repair Port Harcourt refinery. The report is presented from our studio. The federal government last week approved the rehabilitation of Port Harcourt refinery, which will cost the nation $1.5 billion. And this, of course, led to tongues of wagon querying such humongous amount just to repair. Reacting to this controversy, the LMPC managing director, Mele Kiari, argues that a new facility would have cost the country $10 billion, which is far beyond $1.5 billion, earmarked for the rehabilitation. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timipri Silva, confirmed this at the weekly presidential ministerial media briefing. Today, technology is moving very fast. There are all kinds of upgrades coming. So we want to incorporate all those upgrades into this refinery and make it as modern as it can be. So our refinery is not a cake. It is a refinery that will be as good as new when it is fixed because we want to bequeath a refinery that is functional. He also gave an assurance that he is optimistic that the petroleum bill will be passed in April by the National Assembly. This version, which is the final version, only got to the National Assembly last quarter of 2020. And we have been assured by the National Assembly and from all indications, from all our engagements with them, we, are, we believe that this bill will be passed in April 2021. Meanwhile, NMPC boss Melikiari expressed the satisfaction over the 120 billion Naira monthly burden borne by the federal government to subsidize petrol in the country. He laments that sooner or later, Nigerians will have to pay the actual cost as experienced by other African countries. Today, NMPC, the sole importer of PMS, uh, we're importing at market price and we're selling at 162 naira per liter today. Uh, looking at the current market situation, the actual price could have been anywhere between 211 that you have mentioned and around 234 naira to the liter. And the meaning of this is that consumers are not paying for the full value of uh, the PMS that we are consuming, and therefore somebody is bearing that cost. As we speak today, the difference is being carried in the books of NNPC, and I can confirm to you that uh, NNPC is, may no longer be in position to carry that burden. The consensus here is that will the quality of the fuel from this refinery be the same standard as it is internationally acceptable? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.